I've been in real estate for several years and I have never seen a real estate market like this. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brandon. I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles County and thanks so much for checking out the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, leave me a like and leave me a comment and let me know at the end what you thought of this video. So it's no secret the real estate market is on absolute fire and depending on what side you've been on, it's either been amazing ever since COVID started or it has been a freaking nightmare. I've been fortunate enough to be working with a pretty even amount of buyers and sellers ever since the pandemic started. It's been great. I, ha I don't really have any complaints, but I can't say the same for everybody. I want to tell you guys what some of the problems and some of the annoyances have been ever since COVID has started. We all know if, we're, if you are real estate agents, if you've been in the market for a while, you know the inventory is insanely low, pretty much the lowest it's ever been in history. Data that I've been able to find shows that inventory is as much as 65% lower than our normal markets. Yes, 65% lower. So let's just scale that out a little bit or break that down. So if there's 10 homes on the market in a given neighborhood in a normal market, right now there's three and a half. Holy cow and everyone with the fact that interest rates are so low want to buy a house. So what do you think that looks like with the fact that inventory is so low and interest rates are incredibly low as well? Every buyer in town is lining up for the same exact property trying to get an offer in on it. That house that may be one day on the market may have already had 25 showings. Heck, it could even have 10 offers on it already 24 hours after being on the market absolutely insane. But the fun doesn't stop there. It gets even better. When these properties hit the market, you as the agent have to be on it because they can only they only have so much time to show that property, right? If that property's lived in, they don't have 24 hours throughout the day to show that property. They may only have a few hours. So you as the real estate agent need to be checking new inventory almost by the hour at times. So when you see a hot property hit the market, you need to be on it and schedule a time to see it. It's been so frustrating finding great properties and maybe it's been on the market for two or three days and I try to set up a time to show it to my client and guess what? They are fully booked we don't even get a chance to see it. It's it's mind blowing right now. And with this kind of market that we're in, it's inevitable that some of our clients, they're gonna get discouraged. They're gonna say, to heck with this. I don't wanna compete. I don't wanna be a buyer in this market. I just wanna wait for things to calm down and then I'll get back into it. It's frustrating. You spend a lot of time showing these clients, submitting offers for them. You're there for them for you know weeks, months, trying to help them get a house and then they say, I'm done, I'm, I'm sick of this. And can you blame them? I, I mean, do you like competing in this market when you're the, representing a buyer? I, I don't, it's been a pain in the butt. Another frustrating situation that we are dealing with is the fact that we don't have open houses. At least me, I'm in California. We're not allowed to hold open houses or door knock. For me, I like door knocking. It helps me get out there, get to know the neighbors in the community and uh, get to grow my brand. Not to mention open houses. You are selling a property. This could be a hot property. And some of these buyers that are now going online and submitting a, uh, a showing request, they're getting sent to another agent. They're not coming to the open house and meeting you. That's business that you, we could, we're all losing out on. So what do we do? Honestly, you just gotta hang on. This, I, like I said, I've been in the market for several years now and I've never seen a real estate market like this. This will pass and we will not be in this aggressive of a market forever. So if you're in the market, if you've been a real estate agent for maybe only the past 12 to 18 months and you're saying, oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. I don't wanna do this. Be patient because the market will change and it's not gonna be like this forever. So don't get out of real estate before you really get to experience all the great things that being a real estate agent has to offer. As far as open houses and door knocking, hey, we can't do that, but there are still other things we can do to get business, okay? So cold calling, 
calling expired for sell by owners, working your past clients and working your sphere, make sure you're taking advantage of those lead sources. Do not let them go by the wayside. Other agents are doing it, it's working for them. I'm doing it myself, it's working for me as well. Don't just sit around and wait for COVID to pass and let your business go down the drain. And as far as our clients getting discouraged and not wanting to buy a home in this market, let me tell you this, your job is to do what is in their best interest. And at the end of the day, they are the boss. Okay, they have to do what's in their best interest and what they feel is right for them. And we need to be supportive of that. Maybe your clients holding off on buying a house right now is the best decision for them. And it is your job as their advisor to be supportive of that and listen to how they feel and give them good advice on the home buying process. Do not force them to buy a house right now if they're really just not ready or their heart isn't in it. One of the best lessons I ever got from my first mentor is this, save the client not the deal. Save the client, not the deal. Save the client, not the deal. And if you're an experienced real estate agent, you know what I mean by this saying. Some of us get so wrapped into converting and trying to put someone in escrow that we forget at the end of the day, we are here to service them and help them, not help ourselves. So if you're there listening to your clients and you're looking at a situation that you know is not in their best interest and not a good move, advise them not to take the deal, not to move forward with it. They will trust you. And let me tell you this, if you tell somebody not to move forward with a transaction to hold off for a while and maybe searching and see what the market does, you think they're ever gonna question if they should trust you or not? No, because they believe you are doing what is in their best interest, which you are. You are listening to how they feel. You are seeing what they're going through and you are there to give them good advice and advise them the best way you possibly can. Do not get caught up in, hey, I gotta get this, you know, $3,000 commission check, this 10, 20, $30,000 commission check. Focus on what you need to do for them, what you feel is the best for them. But let me tell you this, you advise them to wait for a couple months and then you help them get a rock star deal. You never lost that client. You eventually got them in escrow, but you got them an amazing deal. They're in love with the property and they're in love with you and they're gonna tell all their friends and family about you. So remember that guys, we are here to service our clients and do what's in their best interest. All right guys, that's it for this video. It was short, it was quick, it was to the point, but I hope you found value in it. And if you did, hit the subscribe button down below, subscribe button down below, leave me a like, leave me a comment and what you found to be most valuable for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.